China is going to end up treating us fairly. For many years, they had free reign. They don't have free reign anymore. We're very friendly with China. We have great relationships with China. And uh, look, it's time. It's time. Last year, we lost $500 billion on trade with China. We can't let that happen. All right. President Trump today saying he's making progress on the China trade negotiation following his announcement that the administration will impose tariffs on about $50 billion worth of Chinese imports. Now, China did have a response of its own here on this Friday with its own tariff threat. The Chinese say they're planning to slap uh, taxes on $3 billion of U.S. goods. This affects, though, only about 2 percent of China's imports from the United States compared to roughly 10 percent of trade in the opposite direction. So let's talk about it as we're joined now by the former senior advisor, David Cameron. We know him as the host of the next revolution of the Fox News Channel. Steve Hilton is with us. Um, you know, a lot of people saw that, came out last night, our time, and uh, Friday in China, and they said, here we go, trade war. But uh, what do you say? I think we need, I think it's a good start, basically. I think we need to be much, much tougher with China than we've been for many years. And I think that you're seeing this administration get to that tough position, not just mm -hmm. with this measure, but also previously, uh, not, not, re not long ago, they announced that CFIUS, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States, would take a much tougher line on foreign investments. Uh, they blocked that really big tech deal where one of our most important tech companies, Qualcomm, that's right. key to the future of mobile mobile technology is going to be bought by a company that they thought was a security risk for China. I think it's that transfer of technology to China who wants to use it for their plans that they've stated for world domination. That's what we've got to really watch out for. And it looks to me like the tariffs are a part of that. But the other things the administration are doing are actually more important. Hmm. Now, what about the Chinese response, though? I mentioned the three billion that they've talked about. Do you say drop in the bucket or uh, the start of something that could be much bigger and far more dangerous? Certainly there are concerns whether they're justified or not on Wall Street. The market since this protectionist talk has started has not um, has not done well last couple of days down 1100 plus on the Dow so yeah, but look, this is a, a much bigger and more long-term um, question than, than even these, these tariffs. It's about how are we going to handle a really aggressive uh, nation like China that has set out to beat America on every important front. And they've said that they're going to do that using the latest technology. I think a little fight over tariffs is really mm. beside the point. To be completely honest, even if the trade between the U.S. and China went to zero, we'd still have a massive problem, not economically, but right. Militarily, the way that they're using their technology to, to hack into our government and, and steal data and, and influence all sorts of things oh, yeah. around the world. Look at the way that they're, they're spending so much on infrastructure to try and control countries all around the world. That's the big issue. I want to ask you, we have another topic, so I just want to request a short answer on this. But if, you know, because you have experience, obviously, working in other uh, governments, some say would, there would have been a better way. Either, A, you go to the WTO, or at least you build an alliance with other countries countries and go after China altogether as opposed to kind of one-on-one? -on -one. I think that that may be right in the small area of the of the trade imbalance, but that, they're not going to listen to all those other countries or the WTO mm -hmm. on the big question of the strategic moves they're making to become the dominant nation in the world in the 21st century. Only America can resist that. Okay, um, we'll get back to this, but let me go to the other topic. Former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger saying that the Republicans in California are going down. Let's take a look. Our politics must be the politics of solutions and substance. Today we are the Titanic <laughs> after it hit the iceberg, but before the last bit of the ship submerged. <laughs> Now, you have an interview out there in California on your very fine program that I mentioned earlier, The Next Revolution, Sunday in the Fox News Channel. I don't know if he responds to this, but tell us a little bit about it. Well, look, actually, I was there for that event with, huh. with uh, former Governor Schwarzenegger, um, and that's where I, I, I uh, sat down with him for the interview. Look, the thing is that he's not wrong about the political position of the Republican Party here in California, where I'm speaking to you from today. Yeah. The, California, the, the Republicans in California haven't won statewide office for, for years, over a decade. They're, complete, they're losing more and more seats in the state legislature. So the Democrats are a complete control of California politically. And you see the result in the terrible policies that are really harming business and society throughout the state. So they've got to get back in there somewhere. Now, he was a winner in California, so I think it's important to listen to his message. 
It's always interesting to listen to him no matter what. So uh, we'll look forward to that. All right, we'll watch on Sunday, Steve. Thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate it.